So you've been having troubles with your foreskin. You're thinking you might need a circumcision. I'll give you the scoop, so listen in. Thanks. Hey guys, it's Stock Haps. We're here with you, coach. So the question is, you've been thinking about circumcision. Maybe you've had some troubles with the skin in that area. I'll give you the scoop on what to expect, what a circumcision is all about, and why you may benefit from a circumcision procedure. First step, what is a circumcision? A circumcision is removal of the foreskin, the skin that surrounds the head of the penis. So it's common in the U.S. that most infant boys will undergo circumcision. Most pediatric urologists will recommend circumcision in infant because it will help with prevention of penile cancer down the road and infection. But it's really a choice uh, that's up to you as a parent. So what kind of problems might happen? Well, the most common problem is something that causes infection of the foreskin. We call this balanitis. It's a fancy term for infection of the skin that covers the head of the penis. So this can be caused by yeast or fungal infections. It can be caused by bacterial infections. It's more common in men who have other medical problems who are immunosuppressed, in men who have diabetes. Oftentimes, these infections are eradicated with a course of antibiotics or some antifungal creams. But occasionally, it can be a recurrent problem. And sometimes, the skin, after it becomes infected, can get tight and narrowed, making it difficult to clean that area. So that is one problem that may lead to the necessity of a circumcision. Another problem that happens is that the skin may become tight and that can be congenital. You may just be born with skin that is tight and you can't retract that skin over the head of the penis. And the problem is that skin becomes irritated. You can't be very hygienic underneath that skin and it can become inflamed. That problem is called phimosis. In men who have phimosis, oftentimes it's not a major issue, but if it becomes a problem, then there are certain things we can do, such as number one, use a steroid cream to try and thin the skin. Sometimes that will help allow the skin to be pulled back over the head of the penis. And other times if there's an infection, will treat any infection and ask the gentleman to try and stretch that skin to try and make it amenable such that the head of the penis can be exposed and you can clean that area. A third problem that happens with men who have a foreskin difficulty are sometimes that skin will retract back over the head of the penis, but it's difficult to replace it. If that happens, it's called paraphimosis. So a paraphimosis is when that skin is pulled back over the head of the penis and becomes trapped. And it narrow band forms. It's almost like having a ring on your finger that's too small. And it can cause obstruction and swelling at the tip of the penis such that the blood flow is not effective and can cause damage to the penis and penile tissues. And that's basically an emergency. Oftentimes this happens in men who have a phimosis. They finally get it back over the head of penis, but it gets stuck and then they can't retract it. Or it happens in older gentlemen whose sensation, they just aren't aware it gets trapped and stuck and is not a problem until it gets inflamed and you start having pain and difficulties. If that's the case, we as urologists will see you on a more emergent basis. Oftentimes we see these folks in the emergency room because they're having a lot of pain or urgently in the office. And we try and reduce the swelling by squeezing that 
excess fluid out of the head of the penis and bringing that tissue back over the head to retract the skin and hopefully solve the problem. If any of these problems persist, then some gentlemen may definitely benefit from a circumcision. So a circumcision is a surgical procedure. It's usually done in the operating room. It takes 15 to 20 minutes. It's done under either a sedation or and a local anesthesia. What we do is we use a knife to excise that excess skin that's been causing problems. And then basically we sew up those two normal skin edges so that the head of the penis is exposed. And you don't have those problems such as balanitis, phimosis, or paraphimosis. The major benefit of this is to avoid those problems and those infections from recurring. Now, some men prefer to have a circumcision later in life, even though their skin is completely normal. And that's totally reasonable. Sometimes these gentlemen have difficulty because the skin is tight or narrowed or it causes pain during sexual activity. And those are also totally reasonable reasons to move forward with circumcisions. It's really up to the gentleman himself. Bottom line, circumcision is a safe and effective procedure. We perform it in adults for a number of reasons, primarily infection or problems with the skin. It's something you could see a urologist. It's part of his bread and butter armamentarium of tools that we use to help our patients. This is Doc Hebs. Thanks for subscribing. Check out our other videos on the channel. I appreciate your time.